It's early morning in Misrata, Libya, and a DCA mine action search team is preparing for the day's task, clearing a building complex that may contain unexploded ordnance from the Civil War three years ago. DCA has been clearing unexploded ordnance in Libya since May 2011 to protect the civilian population from accidents. But the organization also trained Libyan authorities in carrying out tasks like this. Uh, after the revolution, the uh, security forces, namely police and the army, were uh, broken up, disbanded. This infrastructure that you would expect in a normal, dare I use the, the word, civilized country, uh, was smashed. Uh, so they have had to rebuild almost from scratch in terms of the training capability and with the increased amount of unexploded ordnance and explosive remnants of war that have been left from the, the revolution, this poses you know, a new threat uh, to the, the security forces here in the country. To date we've delivered 15 courses here in Libya uh, and these cover a wide range of subjects from basic search, so that's covering person search and vehicle search, uh, searching for the, the concealment of weapons or munitions, uh, advanced search techniques uh, covering area search and building search in a defensive role uh, to counteract this new threat of uh, IEDs which we're starting to see in the country. We've also delivered uh, EOD, IMAS level 1 and manual demining courses and these are predominant to the army to allow them to go out into the field and the uh, former uh, conflict areas to start clearing them of uh, explosive remnants of war. It is not only the unexploded ordnance laying around that poses a problem. Also the unused munition in the hands of the authorities can be a great risk if not stored correctly. Uh, we've also delivered ammunition storage management uh, and this again has been delivered to uh, predominantly the, the army and that is to bring them up to speed with this uh, safety, international safety standards and regulations when storing ammunition. In the past it was you know, stack them high, uh, as much ammunition as you could uh, and Libya has got a huge uh, problem with munitions uh, left over from uh, Gaddafi's time. The training programme is funded by the EU and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Netherlands and the idea behind it is that with the right training the Libyan authorities can secure their own people and become independent of outside help. If I, if I take the, the Minister of Defence first to the Army, uh, who we are, as I've already said, uh, instructing on uh, IMAS EOD Level 1 and manual uh, demining, uh, that benefits the population as a whole because in areas where there are no NGOs, the, the military, the Army if you like, uh, once they're trained can carry out their own clearance. And in the longer term, so looking to the, the time when NGOs pull out of the country, uh, we'll have a a large core of trained personnel that can carry on the work that uh, DCA are currently doing in, in country.